In an editorial published earlier this year, Dallas Morning News accused the police, especially the homicide department, of understaffing as a result of the rise in violent crime in the city. The Texas Tribune reported that the homicide rate in Dallas was out of control when other major Texas cities such as San Antonio, Corpus Christi and Houston recorded fewer murders. Morning News showed that strong neighborhoods around Dallas are restoring an active security from crime and collecting money to hire more police patrols. However, the forum informed the municipal authorities that troops may be stationed in the neighborhoods, questioning the immigration status of residents and arresting people to check stickers that are about to expire. The forums reported that police officers had seized more than 70 rifles and that in some of the areas where soldiers had been sent, violent crime had decreased by 30%. However, Dallas is a blatant exception to this rule, and the number of deaths has reached its highest level in a decade. A 22-year-old transgender man, Malaysia Bokar, was found shot dead in May in the street east of Dallas. The editors claim that Dallas did not use the means at her disposal to fight her fear of crime. The city is about to register the highest number of murders in a decriminal prison more than 220. But the reasons for this increase are not unanimous. Last month, more than 135 murders a year were committed in the city every year. In recent years, the city has faced a chronic shortage of police officers. Some of the murders in Dallas turned out to be high-level crimes, 